Hey guys, welcome back to my summer watercolor series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some popsicles. You can decorate these or design them however you want, and they are super easy to do. Literally anybody can do these. Be sure to also check out my other summer series videos. They're going to be linked below and let's dive right into this one. So these are the colors I'm going to be using alizarin crimson, raw umber, gamboge hue, and sap green. I'm going to start by creating the basic shape of the popsicle. So I'm taking a good amount of water on my wonder forest number no. eight brush and I'm taking alizarin crimson starting at the top of the popsicle and just creating this sort of rounded top to the popsicle and then dragging down some vertical lines on either side. I'm going to try to fill the area with a little bit of water just to help that edge blend out a little bit because I don't want this to be a really definite outline. I'm just trying to map out where the shape is going to go and then I'm just gonna fill the area in with some water. For the bottom, I've just connected the two edges with a horizontal line, making that straight and flat across the bottom. Now I'm going to take some more alizarin crimson and I'm just going to start applying that to the wet paper only on the top section of the popsicle because this popsicle is going to have a sort of gradient effect going from red to yellow. So to accomplish that, I've just applied the red in the top and I'm gonna take a little gamboge hue and I'm going to apply that to the middle section of the popsicle. Now this is a wet on wet technique, so anywhere that the paint touches that is wet, that is where the paint will stay. So it's not going to flow outside of that area. Now I'm just mixing up a little bit of gamboge hue with alizarin crimson to create an orange shade. So it's gonna go from red to yellow to orange at the bottom. I did want the bottom half to be a little bit brighter, so I do kind of go in a couple times and adjust my orange um, ratios. So I add in a little bit more red, sometimes a little bit more yellow, just to get it right. I'm just gonna darken the top with the alizarin crimson, and then using my brush, the tip of my brush, I'm just gonna define that bottom edge a little bit more. And you can coax the paint a little bit with the tip of your brush to help it blend the colors together. So just gently push some of the colors into each other. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that alizarin crimson. I'm trying to get some paint that has less water in it. And I'm gonna start applying that again to the top. I'm just gonna be adding in little bits of color at a time because I don't wanna overwork the piece, which means adding like way too much water and paint all at the same time and just kind of continually adding more. Um, so I'm just doing little bits of additional color at a time. This just helps to kind of brighten up the piece a little bit and get more of that uh, concentrated mix of paint. So I'm happy with that orange shade that I've created here, just using the red and the yellow mixed together. And I'm gonna let this dry and then work on the next layer. So with that layer completely dry, you can see how much lighter that it actually dries. I'm just gonna take the same colors. So alizarin crimson, I'm taking that again, and I've added water to that paint. And instead of applying the water directly on the paper, I'm just gonna go straight in with the wet paint onto the dry paper. And I'm going to start creating those sort of shaded indented parts of the popsicle. So by using a really light wash, so a really watery wash of paint, I can create this sort of transparent layer on top of what I've already done. And what that's gonna do is just slightly darken that area a little bit more without overdoing it. So I've just sort of created this little like hot dog shape. <laughs> um, it's basically a rectangle, a long rectangle with rounded tops and bottoms. And I'm just using the wet brush and just a tiny bit of paint to fill in that area just to make it a little bit darker. 
And then on the top rounded edge, I'm just gonna drop in a little bit more color to make that a little bit darker. And using the very tip of my brush, I'm just going around the edges of this entire shape. And I'm just adding a little bit more paint to that edge so that it darkens it a little bit and allows it to bleed into the wet paint. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side here, just creating um, a matching hot dog shape. So I've just started at the top and just using water now, I'm blending that paint down into the bottom half. You can see that I kind of do this slowly, that's just because I want my vertical lines to be even and straight. And then the same as the last one, I'm just rounding off that bottom edge. So you can really see how just adding another really light wash or layer um, on top of what we've already done just darkens those areas just a little bit. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did previously with a darker mix of the red paint. I'm just gonna go along the very edge using the very tip of my brush just to darken it and add sort of that indented shadow feel. So while I let that dry, I'm gonna create the stick for the popsicle. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the raw umber and I'm just going to really roughly create one of those little rounded wooden sticks. And as always, I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush to make those outlines nice and sharp. I've added a little bit of a darker mix of the raw umber just to create a little shadow underneath the popsicle. That one is completely done. We'll let that dry. I'll set it aside and I'll show you how to create another variation of the same style of popsicle. So this time I'm gonna be using sap green and I've got that off camera, but it's mixed up really well with water. So it's a really nice wet watery concoction. <laughs> and I'm gonna start creating the same shape that I did previously, just with the rounded top and then the even vertical sides. Again, keeping this wash light. This one is gonna be a solid color. It's gonna be like a lime kind of popsicle. So I'm just gonna continue filling in the popsicle with that same color. I did wanna keep some white space because I wanted to keep that more loose, sketchy look to it. So I will just kind of really roughly be filling this in. There really is no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just using a bit of paint, a bit of water, and blending around that color into the wet area. With my base down, I can go in and darken some of the edges a little bit now. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the sap green and darkening the top. I wanted this to have that loose effect like my other projects that I've done in this watercolor summer series. So I'm just going to take some wet paint and so I'm just going to take some clean water and sort of splash that around the outside edges and then splatter on some of that same color. Now that I've let that dry completely, I can go in and add that second layer to create the indents in the popsicle. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did previously, just create those outlines of those indents, those little hot dog shapes, and just drag that color down and round out the edges. I'm using the exact same sap green color I'm just making it a really nice translucent kind of wash so it is still going to darken that area. And again, do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now I can go in with a darker mix of the paint and just add that to the top. And then I can do the same thing along the edge really lightly with the tip of my brush. You can see just how this adds that kind of shadow effect. It makes it look indented.
Now I can go in and add that stick the same way that I did before, just using raw umber and creating a little wooden stick at the bottom. I wanted to make this popsicle speckled looking, but I didn't want to get any paint around the outside edges and mix in with those speckles. So what I'm doing is taking a piece of scrap paper here and I'm using indigo and I'm just going to splatter that directly onto the popsicle. I actually found these scrap pieces of paper, so I'm just going to line those around the edge of the popsicle just to block off any of that background. Using my hand now, I can just splatter directly onto that popsicle. And then for any areas that I want to make sure have some splatters, I can go in with the very tip of my brush and just paint those on. So that's all there is to it, you guys. Those popsicles are so easy. I would love to see them if you create some, so please tag me on Instagram. Also be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot if you do. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you wanna see next in the summer series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. I've also created this ice cream cone tutorial exclusively for my patrons. So if you would like to see it, please hop on over to my Patreon page and become a member.